Alright, so planets, I know I haven't done this in quite a while, I think the last time that I made a planet video was what, like, six years ago? So, yeah, it's really exciting for this, I mean, I, I'm not as interested in planets as I once was, but it is great to relive some of your early memories. So, with that being said, let's start with the sun right over here uh, as you can see um, if you're wondering how I painted the Sun it was actually quite unique so what I did was I actually dolloped a little bit of paint on some tissue paper I took the the Sun uh, I used some for context I used some air dry clay Crayola air dry clay uh, I made the sun. It was actually a lot easier to make than I thought. It actually still needs to dry a little bit because I literally just made it, just, just finished making the sun a couple hours ago. But since it's so big, it needs to have a bit of time to dry out. But the paint is dried out, out the outside and it's, it is getting a bit firm, so it's fine. But yeah, so what I did was I dipped the sun in a little bit of paint and I just rolled it around in my fingers. Uh, there, there is a sink right by me, so I could wash it away pretty easily. Uh, those black speckles you see are intentional. They're actually a part of the sun. Uh, they are actually a lot colder uh, than the actual surface of the sun. And they're usually, I think, about 600 miles across. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and roll the sun back. Uh, I know that the light is p pointing in the opposite direction of where the sun is. I know it's bothering me too, but let's move on. So, we got Mercury. Uh, as you can see, it is a lighter... It, not a lighter. It is a darker gray than uh, it should be. And, you know, usually it has... Uh, these sort of white lines going across it and it usually has a lot more craters but since mercury is so small i couldn't couldn't really get that detail in so yeah there there's mercury for you next up we got venus now i know uh i know uh that venus actually looks like a like tannish on the outside uh but this is venus without uh the clouds and stuff on it this is uh kind of like bare bones venus see so yeah, there's a venus for you and if you're wondering those sort of brown speckles on venus are uh i use the reference image and i think those were the volcanoes on venus question mark so yeah, there's, that's Venus. So here's Earth. Uh, this is actually the one that I painted last because it had the most details out of any planet here. Jupiter was the second last. Uh, so yeah. So as you could see, uh, instead of just randomly splotching paint on Earth, like I see a lot of people do, uh, they just randomly splotch uh, stuff on Earth, which I don't blame them because, you know, nobody... I mean, not everybody knows the exact locations of the continents, and a lot of people who make planets are kids, and, you know, not every kid knows the positions of the continents, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, we got North America right here, South America, uh, as you can see, I also included a bit of color variation at the side here, you know, the, the Rocky Mountains and the Andes, and we also got Greenland right here. So yeah, we got we got Europe right here, which is just a big old splotch because um, the paint peeled off a little bit here. And once I painted over it, it made like this weird green splotch. So it kind of looks like Doggerland came back. But yeah, we got Africa right here. We got Asia right here. We even got a little Australia right over here. Let's see, that's cool. We got a big old Antarctica at the bottom here. It even has the little little pan handle right up there, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that is the Earth, and it even comes with a moon or a Luna. 
Uh, it even comes with those little little dark lakes, as you could see. And I made sure to even include them on only one side of the earth. It looks really cool. So next up we got Mars. Uh, now, Mars, uh, I think it usually it has a bit more brown speckling to it. Uh, but what I did, uh, what I didn't forget to put is the little plateau, uh, the little, uh, what, whatever this thing is, um, canyon, the canyon in Mars. So as you can see, it's right here. Uh, in all its glory. So there's that. I think usually there's ice on the tops of Mars, but yeah. So here we got here we got uh, Phobos and Diamos right here. Uh, just some random moons. Well, not random moons. Those are the two moons of Mars. But yeah. Anyway, so here's Ceres, uh, one of the dwarf planets. I did intend on putting the entire asteroid belt around here, but that would just be too tedious. So I guess this is kind of the asteroid belt, but it's just series. So there's that. Uh, there is a little bit of yellow speckling on there because this was originally going to be a different planet, but, well, different moon, uh, but it was too small, so I just converted it into series. So you're not a moon of Mars. Get, get out of there. So next we got Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter is probably, uh, I think it's one of my favorites. Um, as you can see, it's got the bands around because, you know, of course it does. Uh, it even has the little aurora on top. Now, I, I don't think Jupiter has the aurora right now. But I just added it in because I thought it looked cool. And I, I don't know, might be wrong, but... Yeah, and I did not forget to include the red spot over here. Now, this spot actually had a massive white patch because the paint peeled off as uh, as it sat to dry. So, that's why there's some gray up here. Some paint peeled off right there. But I don't really think that's a big of a deal since you can't even see it. But, yeah, so that's Jupiter. And here are the four Galilean moons. Uh, we got Ganymede, Callisto, Io, and Europa. Uh, Callisto looks pretty cool. Uh, here, let me, let me do Ganymede first. So, Ganymede has a sort of, like, brownish-gray speckling all over it, with some white speckling as well. And I made sure that it was larger than Mercury, because Ganymede is actually larger than Mercury. Yep, there is a moon of Jupiter that is larger than Mercury. Kill cool. And we also have Callisto, which is almost exactly the same size as Mercury. I think Mercury might be a little bit bigger, but yeah. I think Callisto might be the coolest moon there. And we got Io, which of course is yellow. It kind of looks like cheese. Um, with all this black speckling on it. kind of looks like a cheese pizza. And we got Europa. I tried to put all those sort of like scratch marks on it, but I couldn't really do that because uh, it's so small. But you just have to bear with me. This is Europa. And it still looks pretty cool nonetheless. So that's Jupiter and it's Galilean moons. Next, let's move on to Saturn. Now, Saturn was pretty interesting and also kind of difficult to make. Uh, the planet itself wasn't really difficult, I just painted it tan, uh, and I also put the hexagon over here on later on, but the rings, whew, the rings were very difficult. I originally made it in the same, uh, clay, same type of clay, uh, as the planet itself, but since, since the clay is so, so hard, um, it was kind of difficult to make the rings because... Uh, you know when you make rings out of clay, how at the meeting point it kind of breaks? Uh, that was my problem throughout all of it. So I decided to make the rings out of a softer kind of clay, as you can see here. You can kind of squish it. Uh, and it worked like a charm. I painted it 
you could see two different colors, sort of like lighter tan color, and a sort of brownish color right here. And I did not forget about the heck, wait, I already, I already talked about that. All right, anyway, but yeah, so we got the three moons here. Uh, we got Titan right here, nice orange moon. Uh, and of course, yes, it is, it is bigger than Mercury. Because Titan and Ganymede are the two moons that are bigger than Mercury. Kill. Cool. Yeah, if, uh, if Titan and Ganymede uh, somehow manage to separate from Jupiter and Saturn, they'd probably become their own planets. Somehow. But anyway, so next we have Enceladus. Now I know Enceladus is a lot lighter than this, but I didn't have any white paint on me to mix with the light gray, so... I'm just gonna have to bear on me for that one, but I usually when the paint shipped, I I usually painted over it, but this one I kept for that effect. And the last moon of Saturn uh, is Mimas, as you can see right here. Uh, I did not forget uh, to have that little, you know, when you see a picture of Mimas, how that how's it? Eh. How it has that big old, that big old crater on it. Kind of looks like this. Uh, I made sure to put that there. You could see it right there. So that's Saturn. Uh, next up is Uranus. Now, I know some people don't put the rings on Uranus because it's a bit more faint than Saturn's. But I think that the uh, rings help tie Uranus together. Um... Because it, it looked a little bit bland by itself. So, um, so yeah, that's Uranus. Uh, nothing else to say from it. I did want to put it on its side, but, you know, that, that would pretty much be impossible. So, um, just, just imagine that it's on its side, okay? Just imagine that it's rotating on its side. And, funnily enough, this was actually, this is actually a yellow clay painted a uh, light gray. Uh, because Saturn's was made from uh, brown. Uh, but when I made Uranus's, it was too big. So, uh, and I ran out of brown clay, so I had to improvise. So here are Uranus's three moons. I know Uranus has five main moons, but uh, I just did, eh, I just did three of them. So, a third, the, eh, sorry for stuttering so much. Uh, we got Ariel. Uh, Miranda and Umbriel. Uh, that's all we need to say. And last is Neptune. Now, disclaimer, I know Neptune was discovered to have a much lighter color than this. Uh, but the reason why I kept this darker blue color was because it just didn't feel right having the same color as Uranus. And before the rings came on, if they were these exact same colors, I wouldn't have differentiated the two. Uh, which probably wouldn't really be a big deal, but... Um, yeah, I just wanted them to be different. And I just thought the darker blue looked better. And honestly, it just, it just felt weird. It felt weird uh, making Neptune pretty much the same color as Uranus. So I made it as a darker blue. Uh, regardless, and I did not forget about the great dark spot right here, as you can see. And the moon that I included with Neptune was Triton, right over here. Um, that's all I need to say. So now let's move on uh, to Pluto. Now, not only did I include Pluto, uh, I included all the dwarf planets. I think you probably could have saw by series, but... So yeah, here's Pluto. Uh, unfortunately, since it was so small, I couldn't paint the heart on it. But uh, yeah, it's still pretty cool nonetheless. It has like some gray, some brown speckling on it. It looks pretty cool. And I did not forget about its moon, Sharon. Uh, it's pretty much it's pretty much it. Uh, next one is Haumea. Now I, I think I know Haumea has a moon. I I think, but. I didn't include it, so... I also know that Eris has some moons, but... Yeah, I didn't include them either. I just included Sharon. 
Uh, but yeah, Halmea, really small. That's pretty much it for Halmea. Next is uh, Make Make, or Make Make, or however you pronounce it. So, I just call it Make Make. So, Make Make, um, let's make this dramatic dark red color. Kind of looks like a murderous red color. Uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, nothing much to write home about. Same thing with Eris. Uh, if you're wondering, it is larger than Pluto. Just, just by a little bit, like the tiniest bit. Uh, I know Eris has some moons, but I didn't include them. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Uh, for these planets right here, I haven't made these in a while, and I just wanted to, I just wanted to bring back some memories. Um. I know I had a video uh, where, like, I don't know, five-year-old me uh, talked about the planets, but unfortunately, that video is not available to watch anymore uh, for reasons, mainly for privacy reasons. But, uh, yeah, this is sort of like a update. Not really an update, but, like, it's a, it's a follow-up video, just... just like, how far I've come, or something like that, but, yeah, so, just turn Saturn around, I think it looks pretty good, there we go, so, yeah, these, these are the, uh, planets and dwarf planets here, I think it looks really cool, I even include the moons, uh, the moons actually weren't going to be included, but I saw that there was a larger amount of clay than I previously thought, so I decided, why not, and I made them anyway, so, yeah, that's, that's the planets.